Hello everybody, it's Rod again. I had a good response to my last video, so I thought I'd try and do the approximation of large mul number multiplication using the table of common logarithms uh, that Kimber had gone over in class. So the example he gave us was one, two, let's do that in black. One, two, three, times four, five, Six. And you notice in the table of logarithms over here, it's all one decimal zero zero all the way up through 7.13. So we can use this number of digits easily. What we want to do is get it into scientific notation, which has only got one digit in front of the decimal. So for one, two, three, the decimal starts there. So we're going to go 10 to the power one, 10 to the power two to bring it over here. And that gives us 1.23 times 10 to the power of 2. So 456 does 4.56 times 10 to the power of 2. When you multiply numbers that have the same base and a different exponent, you can add those exponents. So these two here can go together. We just put them over here to the side, and it will be 10 to the fourth. Now this is where the table of logarithms comes in. 1.23 can be approximated with a power of 10. So if we go over here to our table and we look up 1.23, you'll see it right here. So if we write down here 10 to the power of 0 0.089908 one. That's the 1.23. And we want a power of 10 as well for 4.56. So let's scroll over here to 4.56, which is right here. And that is 0 0.6589648. Now we can multiply these two together by adding the exponents, just like we did over here with the 10 to the fourth. So if we do that, we end up with 10 to the power of 9, 9, 6, 9 and 9 is 18, 9 and 8 plus 1 is another 18, 8, 9, that's a 4 and a 1, so 1 and 6 is 7. 0 0.7488699 times the 10 to the 4th. So now we can work backwards. 7.7488. So if we look in the second part here, 0 0.74, 0 0.7481, or 7 0.7489. This is closer. So this is roughly equivalent to 5.61. So we can transfer that back to 5. 6, 1, times 10 to the 4th. And we bring that back. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're going to have two zeros. 5, 6, 1, 0, 0. And that would be the answer. What happens if we use two bigger numbers? Let's say we have 6, 7, 8 times 7, 8, 9. So we can transfer those over, 6.78 times 10 to the 2, times 7.89, times 10 to the 2. So we'll look up our 6.78 over here, and that is 10 to the power of 0. 0.8312299. Seven times ten, and then we'll look up the seven point eight nine right here. Zero point eight nine seven zero seven seven zero, and then we'll add our two ten to the power of twos, which gives us ten to the power of four. All right, so now we can add these two numbers together. This one and this one. Now I'm not going to do it in my head this time because get myself messed up. 0 0.897077 0, 
and 0 0.8312297, 7, and this is 16, so this is 10, this is 3, 8, 12, 16, 17, and I guess it's 1.72. Now, if you look over here, you'll notice all the numbers only go up to 0 0.9999. So what should we do? We have 10 to the power of 1.7283067 times 10 to the fourth. Well, you remember when we multiply things together, they have the same base, different exponents. We're adding them. We can also subtract them. So this is the same as 10 to the power of 0 0.7283067 times 10 to the 1 times 10 to the 4th. And we can put that together to 10 to the 5th. So now we have this 0.78728. So we can look that up in our table and go backwards. 0.7 7283.5, that's pretty close right there. So we're at 5.35. 5.35 is approximately that number times 10 to the fifth. So that means we're going to add these two decimals plus three more zeros. So that would be 5, 3, 5, 0, 0, 0. And we're done.